iOS 8 brings some much needed features to an already amazing operating system. There are tons of features that I'm sure we have all figured out. There are a couple though that remain unfound by most people, which is surprising to me. Now, not all of these tricks are specific to iOS 8. Some of them are older, but they're tricks that so many people don't know that it amazes me. And I'm here to show you which ones they are. It still amazes me the sheer amount of people that don't understand how multitasking works on iOS. They close these cards all day long every day, not realizing that those apps aren't even running. Now, sometimes the two or three latest apps are running. Well, did you know that you can swipe with two fingers or you can swipe with three? This is a great way to close the latest two or three apps that do continue to run. After you pass five or six cards, those aren't running. You can leave them there. Don't worry about it. It looks like this time around Apple wants to take on Snapchat because in the latest version of Messages on iOS, you're able to send videos and photos that auto expire in two minutes. Now, this is the traditional way of sending photos, but if you hold down the camera icon, you can drag upwards to take a selfie and you can drag to the right to record a video. Now, these are great because not only do they work well, but they expire in two minutes from your phone and the receiver's phone. You won't know if they take a screenshot though. This is my favorite new feature in iOS that so few people know about. Previously, if you wanted to clear a notification, you had to clear all of them for that specific app. Well, now if you swipe left, you can delete or clear one notification at a time. Furthermore, developers will be soon implementing other actions that can be performed, such as a snooze button or a like button, etc. It's really, really handy and I love it a lot. Sorry, Lumia losers, uh, users, the iPhone camera is just the best camera on the market. Now, if you hold the screen down for three seconds, it will create an auto exposure and auto focus lock. Now, what's the advantage to this, you might say? Well, auto focus lock is great because if you're shooting sports, you'll be able to shoot in faster succession without having to refocus. Auto exposure is great because if you're in a really bright or a really dark environment, you can manually set the exposure and the phone won't try to change it by itself. Photo stream is the perfect place to show off the amazing photos that we've taken, but sometimes an unsightly one gets in there. So if you hold the picture, it will allow you to hide it from your photo stream. Now keep in mind, and this is very, very important, that it does not delete the photo. That is still stored on your iCloud drive and it is still stored locally on your phone. So do not do this if you're trying to hide your nude selfies. That's why you wanna use a Polaroid camera and a safe. Jennifer Lawrence will tell you so. Speaking of nude selfies, I like apples. Now, one thing you may notice is that over time, your messages app gets really slow. That's because tens of thousands of messages, hundreds of megabytes of data are slowing your device up. Well, now there's a really great feature that allows you to auto delete them. If you go to message history in the messages section of the system preferences, you are able to set whether or not the messages get deleted after an extended period of time. Now, right now it's only for 30 days or one year, so it's not like a security feature, but it is great to kind of auto clean up the stuff that you don't wanna do manually. Custom keyboards are all the rage now in iOS 8, but to be honest, I prefer the Apple one. Now, one thing I don't like is this annoying suggestion bar that pops up, and a lot of people have expressed the fact that it annoys them too. Well, there's a great feature wherein if you pull the bar downwards with your finger, it will hide itself. You can continue to type, and there's no problem at all. If you decide foolishly that you want that bar back, you simply press the nub and pull up, and it's back. Accidents happen all the time, as gruesome as it is to think about it. And if you're not conscious, you're not able to tell the person who's trying to help you get your contact information, your allergy information, etc. And they can't get access to your phone. Well, now Apple has integrated a medical ID in the emergency section of the lock screen that will show not just information like your blood type, your allergy information, your insurance, etc., but allows them to call your emergency contacts from the lock screen, which is great. I really, really like this. Now to set it up, it's a little weird and that's why I'm going to walk you through it. You need to open the new HealthKit app, which is available on iOS 8, probably stuck in your Crapple folder like it is mine. If you go to the medical ID section on the app, you're able to click the edit button and add everything you can think of, your medical conditions, your history, your insurance, everything that you put, could possibly want there can be added. It's fantastic and I recommend that everyone fill it out just in case something bad happens. I hope you can use these cool new tricks to make your workflow even more efficient. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.